Hello. Today we will have a fun project for not so fun situation. Imagine you are browsing the web using Chrome and suddenly run into out of network issue. You can wait until it restores, or you can play the dinosaur game. This is a very fun and entertaining game. Let's make a simplified clone of it in just 5 minutes. It will be a browser game and is always starting with an HTML template that will contain HTML canvas element. We will work with and using JavaScript. The game field will be 600 by 250 pixels. Here we are also defining a helper function called line. We will use it a lot during this project. Now we need to understand that there are two elements in the game. The dino itself and the cactus. Both of them are sprites that have some common properties like location and size. Let's define a sprite object that will encapsulate this logics. For now the sprite will have a possibility to draw itself using provided function and move by x coordinate. Draw function will allow do draw object at scenes x and y coordinates. Before this project I did a quick research and found a nice sprite map that has 6 frames of moving dino. Each of them is 88 by 94 pixels. Draw dino function will just render a part of this image based on the frame in the canvas. Now we can implement a game loop. Dino object will be the sprite for the dinosaur. Inside the game loop we will move the dino by 20 pixels to the right and draw it. Notice that actually we are always drawing the dinosaur on the same place and just moving the whole game scene. You can see this effect in the browser. Now let's add some obstacles into the game. We need to draw a cactus. Basically we draw a vertical line for the stem and a couple of branches, one to the left and one to the right. This does not look very simple but you can imagine it as drawing a number of small line segments. Then we can define a cacti array that will obviously contain sprites of all cacti. We will draw them in the game loop. And also we'll generate new random cactus when dino jumps over the previous cactus. We use last cactus variable to define when it's time to get new one. With this approach we ensure that cacti do not appear very often. Now we can check result in the browser. Let's enhance our sprite object with jumping function. For that we need a couple of variables and adaptation for get y function to take jumping into account. Jump die function is used to calculate the y coordinate during a jump. Check out the featured video in the top right corner for details of it. The implementation does not look very complex. If you have any questions feel free to check out the breakdown. And finally we should add a key event handler to react to space key press and trigger the jump function. Time to do another check in the browser to verify our model. So far it looks good. The final step is to check if Dino hits any of the cacti. If so the game should be over. There are different strategies how to do it. I do the following check. If the center point of a dinosaur sprite is inside cactus sprite rectangle it means that dinosaur has hit a cactus. It is very easy to do as by checking if Dino's midpoint is between the corners of the other sprite. The game ends when the dino has hit any of the cacti. In this case we show the message and restart the game. Now everything is ready and we can enjoy the game. To me it looks great. And this concludes this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.